After Apple introduced satellite connectivity with the iPhone 14 for emergency messaging, there were rumors that Samsung was developing a similar feature for the Galaxy S23. However, the feature did not materialize and was also absent from the Galaxy S24. It now appears to be in development for the Galaxy S25 with Samsung readying the satellite connectivity feature for calling and messaging in emergencies. According to findings by Android Authority, Emergency SOS, emergency texts via satellite. If you call emergency services when out of range or not connected to a mobile network, the connection will be made via satellite, allowing you to send an emergency text. Samsung Messages, satellite mode not supported. Samsung Messages does not support satellite messaging. To send and receive texts via satellite, you need to set Google Messages as your default messaging app. Samsung Phone, when in satellite mode, you can send text messages, including to 911. Emergency calls may still connect if a mobile network is available nearby. You can send and receive text messages in satellite mode and emergency calls may still connect if a mobile network is available. This information was found in version 15.500.14 of the Emergency SOS app, version 15.510.39 of the Samsung Messages app, and version 15.280 of the stock Samsung phone app company is waiting for the satellite connectivity ecosystem to mature before incorporating the feature into its smartphones. While Samsung fans have faced disappointments regarding satellite connectivity rumors for the Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S24, it seems Samsung has not abandoned the idea and may deliver this feature early next year. It appears that Samsung's design team is taking significant steps in redesigning the upcoming S-series phones. Previously, a rumor suggested that the Galaxy S25 Ultra would abandon the sharp corners of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now the tips are behind that rumor, Ice Universe claims that changes will also be made to the phone's sides. According to Samsung leaker Ice Universe, the Galaxy S25 Ultra's middle frame will feature an asymmetrical design. Instead of being completely straight or noticeably curved, the frame will be rounded near the back of the phone and straighter near the display. This design is said to improve the in-hand feel. Addressing complaints about the Galaxy S24 Ultra's pointed edges and bulky middle frame, which some users find uncomfortable. In addition to reshaping the sides, Samsung is also reportedly slimming down the middle frame. While the width of the frame will be comparable to the Galaxy S24, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will be thinner overall, measuring 8.4mm compared to the Galaxy S24 Ultra's 8.6mm thickness. This reduction should make the S25 Ultra easier to hold. The large middle frame of the Galaxy S24 Ultra gives the impression of extending the phone's bezels, making it hard to notice that the S24 Ultra's bezels are 42% slimmer than the S23 Ultra's. With the Galaxy S25 Ultra, the bezels are expected to appear thinner, enhancing the phone's aesthetics. Ice Universe also claims that the design of the Galaxy S25 Ultra has been finalized even though the phone is still about 6 months from release. It will likely retain its predecessor's flat screen. While details like the middle frame might seem minor, they significantly impact the daily usability of a device. Kudos to Samsung for focusing on these small but important details. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next video. Peace out.